Hey everybody, it's Ron Grant, and you're watching Just For The Record. Stay tuned, you're watching 284 Media. Is business slow, cash flow down, hosting an upcoming event? We can help. Advertise with 284 Media and take your business or event to the next level by enhancing your present marketing and messaging strategies. Allow our team of experts to create a personalized ad that sets your business apart from all the rest. This could be your business or event. So, what are you waiting for? Contact our marketing team at 284media at cctbvi.com. Advertising with us works. Stephanie A. Bruley, welcome to Just For The Record. Hi, thank you for having me. Thank you. For those persons who might not know, in a nutshell, who is Stephanie? Hmm. I think Stephanie is a lot of, a lot of everything, to be honest. I'm a diverse individual, but um, I guess for the record of the people, I, I keep it concise. I'm a very multifaceted person. Um, I'm a Virgin Islander, first of all. I am a believer in Christ. Okay. I'm a mother. It's a very important role to me. I'm a mother of five. So in case people want to know, I love to sing. I love to dance. I love to worship. I just love okay. God. And I just, I, I love people. I love youth. Okay. I like to, I like to make impact and I, I like youth empowerment. That's that, that gives me fun. I like to be around youth. Um, for some reason, they just have something that, you know, no, no, nowhere else has a joy that I can't explain that they okay. bring to the table. Everything about them is just like, okay, this is new. You know, they make me laugh. So okay. that's, that's, that's. That's why you, why politics? Why get into politics? It's ugly, it's nasty, especially for women. Yeah. Uh, it's messy. Why? Why put yourself under that scrutiny? You know, you know. for me, I, I think that um, I have to ask myself that question because it's really not why politics for Stephanie. I, 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 I wouldn't have done it. And I was telling somebody the other day, you know, um, and I don't tell people often, but I guess the old Virgin Islands would know now, that politics for me was not a choice. It was a call. Okay. Um, and I know we've heard people say it before, but I was one day at home and, you know, in the presence of the Lord, he usually speaks to me when I'm over the sink or doing something mm -hmm. cleaning or doing something. And then I'm standing there, but I'm not there anymore. I'm actually in, in, in the house of assembly doing something. And I'm, I realized that I have a cup in my hand, right? And the cup when I do come out of what I was seeing in the House of Assembly, I'm, I'm, I'm standing there with the cup in my hand. And I said, no, 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 no. That, I, know, I know how my visions look. And I said, no, we're not doing that. Nobody's standing in, in the House of Assembly, not me, you know? But, but that, that, that moment didn't leave me. Okay. And for days I wrestled with like, what are you trying to say? And then I got a phone call um, out of the blues um, to say, you know, I, I saw you in a dream, you know, and you were in this similar position. I said, mm -mm, we're not doing this. But of course, no, I can't ignore it because I know how the Lord speaks to me. Started to pray about it. Long and short, I didn't choose it. Um, okay. he, he gave me you the didn't choose politics. You... I didn't okay. choose it. I didn't choose it. It, it. it was a call that I had to answer and I answered it reluctantly. But I did it because my life is, is, is everything is God. Everything is what he says to do. Win, lose or draw it is what he says to okay. do. Um, and so I didn't choose it. No. But I answered, I answered yes okay. to what he was asking me to do. He, not nice, but I answered <laughs> it. I, I answered it. All right. Thank you. Yes. Uh, there have been an influx of women. Uh, this election cycle, we see a lot of women um, on the slate, locally, regionally, and internationally. Women of all uh, types of religion, races. Why do you think that is? Why the influx of women in leadership positions? <laughs> If I was to say the first thing that came to my mind, I'd actually say because maybe they think that men um, didn't do a good <laughs> job, right? <laughs> but honestly, I, I feel that um, culture would have it that women were the domestic workers for a very long time. And over time, I believe that we came into a place where that type of culture changed and women became independent. They worked for what they wanted. And, you know, it wasn't about the man providing anymore. We have independent, we have women this, we have everything, you know, women can do. A man could do it, I could do it, you know. And that wasn't the culture all the time. So I think with that evolution, um, they also recognize, well, okay, I can stand up and be a leader too. And coupled with the qualities that a woman has that many people overlook look over time, w women have the capacity to carry. 
um, as as mothers, as 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 mothers or child bearers, okay. um, and they could carry weight, you know. And so, if they if they if they look at their capacity to carry weight, if they look at their capacity to be mothers and manage households, they have the capacity to manage money. Um, they they have the capacity to manage homes, okay. and they do these things, the same domestic things, but it has evolved. And if you can do it domestically, I think that they've they've reached to the point where if I can do it in a small sense, the Bible says something about like if you could. Be faithful over little, then you 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 could be trusted with, with a lot, with much more. and you we have you you can have much more. So I think that the capacity of the woman species um, would allow for women to 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 think or to believe okay. that they can they can they can do it they can do it, and probably that's why the influx. I don't know what other women's reasons are or why, but that's just my perception of it. Okay, actually, when you look at the Virgin Islands, particularly the Fourth District, where mm -hmm. you. Uh, reside and you are seeking representation. What are some of the issues that you'd like to tackle? For me, for us, district is a very slow-paced um, district, very tranquil. People that live down there, you know, they don't want to leave, you know, because of that type of the. Besides the distance, and and distance doesn't become a problem compared to the atmosphere right. that the first district has. But one of the things that for me, um, I would like to to tackle youth empowerment culture um or two things i'll just leave that there for now because okay. i haven't spoken to my district as yet but youth empowerment and culture um if we can if we can resurrect the cultural facets that the district have i think that we could be second to none in what this country can offer from that end in terms of a good tourism product. Okay. And if we can get to tackle where youth empowerment is concerned, we can tackle that area where youth empowerment is concerned. I believe that we have what would be some of the greatest masterminds okay. coming out of the fourth district, just with a little push or with some different things put in place to be able to channel those things in the right direction. I think that we could be I could, we could be second to none with the masterminds that we have from, from, from tender ages. So those two areas, I think, that I want to be able to tackle okay. and without saying too much. Just um, for the record, with Ms. Stephanie A. Bruley, we'll be right back. When you need to stay connected with friends and families at home or abroad, the best choice for you is Freedom. CCT Freedom. With the lowest rates in the market, our Freedom plan gives you unlimited calls and texting. Plus, our Freedom One package includes 10 gigabits of super fast unlimited LTE data and unlimited calls to the BVI, USA, USVI, Canada, Puerto Rico, and UK lines. Why pay for overages when you can enjoy CCT Freedom? Stop by at one of our stores today and speak with one of our representatives to find out more about our CCT Freedom packages. Why should the people of the Forest District vote for you? That's for people of the Forest District to answer after I present myself, Ron. Well, you're presenting you, yourself you, on just for the you record. Don't, you don't think so? No, not at all. Um, but personally, <laughs> you know, I, I, I don't like believe in blowing my own trumpet or anything because there's really nothing, um, there's really nothing more than real that comes out of me. Um, some people can tolerate so real. So perhaps that's the, the, the reason. Some people tolerate real. Some people don't. I don't know. Um, but if I were to say something, it would be to expect something new, a fresh, a fresh air, a fresh energy, new ideas. I definitely know I have the gift of creativity. Um, I definitely know I have what it takes to shift what we've had for 19 years. Okay. Yeah, um, and it, it will come in the form of creativity, it will come in the form of fresh ideas, it will come in the form of wake up district one, um, if I were to put it in in different words. So if you, if you wanna change, and that doesn't say that we didn't have good representation or we did have good representation, it doesn't say any of that, it just means that do you want something new? Do you want something more? Then I think that with me being the representation of the Falls District, you can get that. Without Thank you saying very too much. much. I'm going to state three phrases, all right? <laughs> Ron, are you putting me on the spot? I am actually, yes. Oh, uh, just for the record, I am. 
uh, okay. because and and I'm glad you said that too because sometimes person feel as though you have the questions ahead of time. Yeah, um, that makes you, me nervous. And you are right don't. here um, on the spot. So I'm gonna say three phrases, uh, Miss Bruley, and I want a yes or no answer. And I'll tell you why I want a yes or no mm. answer. Okay. Uh, if and when elected in the House of Assembly, the Speaker of the House usually says all the eyes, all the nose, and you get an opportunity. I know some of them would say st stay silent. Okay. You know, there's a way to uh, avoid it, but in this case, she doesn't say. All those in the middle or all those in between. She wants a she clear wants answer. Yes or no. And You're that right. is exactly what we want in the in this case. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, legalization or decriminalization of marijuana. I'm smiling, guys. But <laughs> yes. Yes. Legalization of gay marriage. No. Legalization of abortion. No. Thank you very much. And now to an even more fun and interesting part. I'm going to call out some impromptu questions. And you're again going to say the first thing that comes to your mind. Uh, the first thing that comes to my mind or yes, yes. or no? No, yes or, or no. The... We're finished with the yes or no. Okay, first so thing that comes, that comes to, to my mind. mind. Yes. Do you have a secret talent? Yes. What is it? I think it's the ability to speak with people for, or, or just look at somebody or hear them speak. Let me just say it. Hear them speak and then I'll be able to write for them. I could, I could write for that person in okay. their tone. So speech writing. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Uh, secret uh, ch childhood celebrity crush or an adult celebrity crush? I have none of those. None of those? Uh, guilty pleasure. A guilty pleasure. What? No guilty pleasure, no chocolate, nothing. Mm. <laughs> it would have to be super two cookies. Okay, that's a, that's a, that's a good answer. <laughs> a luxury you cannot live without. For me, it's hot water. No luxury? Mm -hmm. All right. Someone from VI yesteryear, uh, Virgin Islands history, that you could take to lunch if you had the opportunity. That I would take to lunch? Yes. Yeah. Yesteryear meaning that they're still alive? No, or... they, they're passed on. Oh, wow. Honorable Dolores Christopher. Okay. The late. I, okay. Yeah, that touched me. Characteristic wow. you value most in people? The ability to be candid. Okay. All right. And your favorite food? Hmm. Favorite food does not mean I'm supposed to be eating it, but my favorite food. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite food is bread. Bread. But I'm not supposed to be Wheat, eating white. bread. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> Stephanie, thank you so much. Just for the record. Thank you. Just for the record. Hello? Wait, you had a long time. You care? You say you were sick? What happened to all wedding rehearsal? Um, no, no, babe. I'm actually watching the news right now. Take, take, take a listen. Topping our newscast today, UFOs seen around Tortola Pear Park. And District 3 residents outraged over no water supply. They simply cannot bathe. These and more stories when 284 News returns. All right, babe, just get some rest, take to Advil, and I'll see you later. Bye! Okay, honey, I'll see you later. I love you. It's clear to see that Coconut Lounge is a place to be, the coolest cocktail lounge in the British Virgin Islands. A lounge like no other, with welcoming, professional service, and a breathtaking ambiance. Not forgetting a diverse selection of wines, beers, and signature cocktails. Cozy, comfortable, contemporary. Coconut Lounge at Tortola Pier Park. Visit us today.